Hey everyone. Okay, today's tip, I'm gonna be teaching you a little bit about Zapier. So Zapier is a really cool program and it used to be kind of a pain, um, but they've gotten a lot better about it. So um, I'm really liking their new interface and how easy it is to use. So basically what it is, is it'll link up two programs that aren't supposed to link up. So for example, let's do a search for MailerLite. Here we go. Okay, so now it's showing me all the things I can link with MailerLite, things that shouldn't happen. So I can link it with HubSpot, I can link it with Google Sheets. I'm going to play around with this one here to send new MailChimp subscribers to MailerLite. So for me, how this works is when people sign up on Teachable, I have an easy integration for them to go to my MailChimp account, but I don't really use MailChimp anymore. So what I can do is essentially have Teachable send it to MailChimp and then Zapier send it from MailChimp to MailerLite and I don't have to do anything. So the second people sign up for one of my courses, whether it's free or paid, they're automatically gonna be sent to my MailerLite list. Yay! And then I can set up an automation and so on and so forth. So real quick, I'm gonna show you how to use this app. Um, and it's pretty much based off of API keys. Again, explains how this works, a new subscriber is added on MailChimp, and then Zapier automatically creates a new subscriber in MailerLite. So we're gonna go ahead and create this app. Okay, so we're gonna continue. It's probably gonna ask me, it's just asking to connect to my account even easier. Okay. Go ahead and test it and success. Very, very good. Okay, so now it's asking me for the list. So I want it to go for my Teachable list. So that's the one I have linked up in Teachable. Fetch and continue. Test was successful. And so it's actually checking to make sure that everything's gonna work properly as we set it up. So now it's asking me to, to do the same thing with um, MailerLite. So we're gonna go ahead and test the account. Oh, mine's already connected because I've done it before, but it's essentially the same thing that we did before. So we're gonna save and continue. And it's gonna ask me where I want it to go. And I want it to go to Teachable. Perfect, continue. So it's gonna go ahead and send my test subscriber. And now what I can do is I can go into MailerLite, go into my subscribers. There we go. Oh, hang on one second. Oh, it updated on me. So here we go, I can filter it by group. I can say that it goes to Teachable. Now this might show up. Yep, there we go. It was already sent. Ta-da! All fixed, all set up. So I can go ahead and confirm it here on Zapier. Perfect. And I can see it on my dashboard. And we're all set up. And that's how simple it is to set up Zapier now. It wasn't, it didn't used to be like this. It used to be really, really complicated, but it's gotten really, really simple. So doing it this way makes it so, so, so much easier for me. So that's this week's weekly tip. If you have any questions, just let me know. Bye everyone.